Hey, functional bodybuilders. I wanna break down the push press for you today. You're gonna to be seeing a progression in the training program where we start with pause push presses for a few weeks and then we move to a push press. This is gonna be done with a barbell. Why do we use a pause push press at the beginning? A pause push press is a great way to reinforce strong positions in the bottom of what is called the dip and drive. A pause at the bottom of the dip and drive is going to help you learn how to build a stable foundation, good posture, and then when we transition to doing a push press that's more dynamic without a pause, you'll hopefully be able to retain those same positions and be more proficient in the push press. Now here are the points of performance that you should be thinking about. The first is torso position. I'm gonna show all this without the bar. When we dip and drive for a push press, we want to keep our hips right underneath our shoulders. So this ends up looking like a straight vertical torso position. We don't wanna to be leaning too far forward and we do not want to be leaning back with our hips extended. So we'll dip straight down that strong torso position. Next up is foot balance. We want an even balance between the front and the back of the foot. A lot of times people will cue their athletes to stay on their heels when they do a push press and this is just not accurate. What we want is a balanced position between the front and the back. That's gonna allow me to stay vertical and to push force through the floor all throughout my foot. The last step of this is really talking about the rack position. Now, the width of your grip is just gonna be dependent upon what feels comfortable, but we want those elbows to be slightly in front of the bar. This is when the elbows are directly under the bar and this is when the elbows are in front of the bar. We need just enough elbows in front so that the bar can rest on the shelf that is created by our clavicle or collarbone and our shoulders. So in this position, I'm going to dip, pause, and the pause will be indicated in training how long, but let's say it's two seconds, and from there I'm going to drive up and pause overhead with the bar directly over my shoulders. Then we return back to the shoulders and begin again, dip and drive. So just to give you a visual on what those common mistakes will look like, when you dip, if your torso comes forward, that's a problem. If you dip and your hips come forward but your shoulders are back, also a problem. And then if you dip and your elbows come down, that's the, the third and most common fault that we'll see. When we progress past the pause, you are going to hopefully retain all of your same positions and simply drive quickly out of the bottom without a pause. Now, all of the common mistakes that we see are often due to the barbell making it difficult to hold good positions and mobility in the upper torso. So a very good alternative and a scale if you're having a hard time with positions would be to transition to a dumbbell it's gonna allow you to hold a much more upright torso position. The elbow position is gonna be easier to achieve and you can still perform all of the same pauses and non-pause variations of the push press. Make sure to film your last three reps of your final set and send it in for a form review. Our Persist coaches are gonna be there to give you advice on how to improve your technique so you can keep getting better cycle after cycle. When you film, film from the side so that we can see all of your points of performance.